One of the most baffling things in the world to me sometimes is just how many fucking people there are in this world, man. Like, it's such a giant number that, obviously, I mean, there's a lot of giant numbers we can't comprehend, but we can't even begin to think of comprehending it. And that's just how many people there are. It's not even like a, it's not like a made-up concept of, you know, oh, I'm, there's... 16, you know, sextillion, uh, fucking atoms somewhere. Obviously, we can't conceptualize that, but just how many people there are, and just how many people there are even in, like, a, a certain place, like a state. Like, you still couldn't even comprehend just how many people that is. And I love to learn new shit, man. I'm always, like, I don't know, looking into shit or whatever, and I, I learned recently, uh, uh, well, not learned, but I, I knew about it, but I never really looked into it. An event in the past that happened called, uh, the Rape of Nanking. The shit was crazy, like, that was one of the craziest environments probably at that and the holocaust and probably many other times throughout human history it's just like a crazy fucking sad place to be and if you look at how many people died in the rape of nanking it was like 300,000 people that died there which to us is just a number because we can't fathom how many fucking people that is but just think about yourself and all of your life experiences and everyone you've loved and never got to know all the inside jokes you have with people and shit and then multiply that by two okay just double it that's so much more shit that's double everything you've ever even conceived of and then do it times 10 You're like holy shit that times 10 that's crazy that's a wild amount and then multiply that by like 30,000 i'm gonna understand like that's like there's so, like it's an unfucking fathomable number of people that had to go through just that atrocity there's thousands of atrocities that have happened to people just imagine living life after life after life 300,000 times and in every single one of them you die in that single event how fucking horrific how much like true pain over like so many different people has did that cause like that's wild to me and obviously you know you can go bigger with it and think of even bigger numbers and times that should happen like the holocaust with 7 million people and the great leap forward in china where like 50 million people died of starvation it's like it's just so many and even beyond that there's just a stupidly huge amount of people that live in this fucking world right now and we don't even know it like and there's just so many lives going on simultaneously and so much different shit than our own that it's really honestly humbling to know that nothing in my world or anyone's world really means shit unless maybe you're like the fucking president or something and i guess you have a huge influence but for most of us we're just all swimming in this giant cesspool of shit that's happening in the world and for some people maybe it's a calming thing for some people maybe it's a scary thing that you know shit that's going on in their own life is pretty much mostly just meaningless and shit and going back to that uh to the rape of nan king thing man like i feel like you know you should be shocked that an atrocity like that happened or could happen but i mean i don't know honestly i'm not I just feel like people are capable of doing anything as demonic or as beautiful as you could dream of it being. As long as you're conditioned in the right way and brought up the right way and forced into the right things, I think it can happen to anybody. Like the Japanese soldiers that carried out that atrocity, I think can just be any of us watching this, including me. If I was born in Japan at that time and I was a male motherfucker that got, you know, enlisted in the army and I was put in that same exact situation, I had manders or whatever directly above me forcing me to do this to these people. And if I didn't, I was a traitor to my country. I would die. Well, of course you'd fucking do it. And maybe you'd even think it's the right thing to do because you were conditioned for so long that that's what you should do. It's just really these little, like, thought bubbles that persist and take over governments and areas that have actual power, and then these giant atrocities can happen. But I don't really think it's usually the, the will of a mass amount of people that's carrying it out. They're just kind of forced into what's going on there. And it kind of sucks, man, but shit like that's kind of happened since the beginning of time. I mean, as long as people have been there, violence has been there. But I, I don't know, I mean, I don't really know if I have hope that, you know, something like that's ever going to end for humankind. If it does, it might be outside of my time on this earth. But I think it is possible, man, with the giant uh, progress forward through technology and stuff. I think it will help to unify us and as technology increases later on through the years, you know, you never know what can happen. And I'm not proposing something that will do it or I'm not saying that it will happen ever, but I feel like it's possible only through the emergence of technology. I think if we just stayed in our old way of life that we were in for, you know, out hundreds of thousands of years, I think it would stay around forever. I don't really think we would out evolve it, but as we evolve alongside technology, maybe here in hundreds or thousands of years, there'd be a way to root out some violence like that. But for now, man, that's just part of the way things operate here on the earth. Man.